Hi everyone, welcome to story time and happy Halloween. So for today's story time, we'll be reading some spooky books. And the first one we're gonna be reading is A Creepy Countdown by Charlotte Huck. This one's really fun and I think you'll enjoy it. So let's get started. A Creepy Countdown. One tall scarecrow standing on a hill. Two lumpy toads sitting very still. One, two. Three jack-o'-lanterns glowing in the night. One, two, three. Four hooting owls, their eyes burning bright. One, two, three, four. Five furry bats hanging upside down. One, two, three, four, five. Six skinny witches flying through the town. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The sixth witch was kind of far away. <laughs> Seven ghastly ghosts rising from their bed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight yowling cats filling all with dread. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine eerie skeletons dancing on a grave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten tiny mice feeling very brave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeak. Boo to you! Ah! Ten laughing mice scamper to their nest. Nine eerie skeletons laid their bones to rest. Eight yowling cats arched their backs and fled. Seven ghastly ghosts sank into their bed. Six skinny witches flew to their lair. Five black bats swept through the air. Four silent owls glided off in flight. Three jack-o'-lanterns dimmed their glowing light. Two old toads hid beneath the stone. One tall scarecrow stood all alone. The end. So since we're doing a Halloween story time, we're gonna do a Halloween song. And it goes something like this. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Horns, fangs, knees and claws. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Horns, fangs, ears, eyes, tail and paws. Wasn't that a fun song? I love doing the horns and fangs part. So for our next book, we'll be reading 
Who Can Boo the Loudest by Harriet Seifert. This is a fun book and I think you'll like it too. So let's dive in. Who Can Boo the Loudest? Two ghosts met in the moonlight. Look, there's a big ghost and there's a small ghost. Who can boo the loudest? asked the big ghost. I can, said the little one. No, I can, said the big one. Let's have a booing contest, said the little ghost. The one who scares the moon is the winner. Oh, that'll be interesting. I wonder which ghost will be able to scare the moon. The big ghost booed first. He huffed and puffed. He shook his sheets. He booed a boo that scared a mouse. Oh, it must have been a little boo. There's the mouse. You scared a mouse, but not the moon, said the little ghost. Now it's my turn. The little ghost huffed and puffed. He shook his sheets. He booed a boo. Boo! That scared a dog. Oh, here's the pup running away. You scared a dog, but not the moon, said the big ghost. Now it's my turn. The big ghost huffed and puffed. He shook his sheets. He booed a boo that. Boo! Scared a barn. Wow, that must have been a big boo. You scared a barn, but not the moon, said the little ghost. It's my turn again. Wait, said the big ghost. I scared a mouse, but not the moon. You scared a dog, but not the moon. I scared a barn, but not the moon. I think we should boo together. Oh, that could be a good idea. But I want to win, cried the little ghost. But neither of us can win alone, said the big ghost. So the two ghosts who met in the moonlight held hands. Together they huffed and puffed. They shook their sheets and together they booed a boo that. Boo! Scared the moon. The end. So that's the end of our spooky story time. And now it's time to say goodbye. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye everyone, I'll see you next time.